Okay, so back here again, uh, we're at Exams of Integration Part 2 now. Uh, I uh, updated us there, so we're, uh, we're on Part 2. Picked out a few other trickier examples, and we get into some more practical examples here a bit later on, and I can show you a few tricks there. Let's have a look. Oh, we're into the cubed roots. So if we've got a cubed root, that's just that thing to the power of one third. So don't get tricked on the cubed roots. Let's just rewrite this as 12 brackets, 3x take 2 to the one third. That's all that's telling us. Now let's do our little trick. So now we're going to raise the power by 1. So we're going to end up with 12, 3x minus 2. Raise the power by 1 would get 1 and 1 third, or 4 over 3, divided by the new power. Now here's the trick. If we're dividing by 4 over 3, that's the same as multiplying by 3 over 4. Okay, I'll do it in a, in a different way first. If we divide by 4 over 3, that there, follow the green highlight, is the same as taking that, bringing it up here, and saying 3 over 4. Okay? Dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its inverse. So what that means for me is that the 3 is going to go on the top line and the 4 is going to go on the bottom line. So that actually is going to have a 4 here and a times 3 there. Okay, So that's the power part and I've got to divide by the derivative of the inside. Well that's 3. And don't forget my plus C on the end. I've run out of a little bit of room here but let's do a bit of cancelling down. Can you see that all of that is going to cancel with all of that? So my answer is just going to be 3 lots of 3x minus 2 to the 4 on 3 plus C. The answer is pretty much already there for us. Next one, here we go. This is a good one because it might look like, oh, we can do our little tricky thing. No, we can't because this here is not the derivative of that. The derivative of that is minus 5. That is not the derivative. So we can't do that idea of saying raise the power, divide by, etc. So this guy here, he's going to integrate fine. This thing, the only option I've got is to multiply it out. So this would become 1 plus, I'll leave the x there for a moment, binomial, you should multiply these out real easy, 1 minus, multiply the 2, double it. Square that one, don't forget about the negative, plus 25x squared. Okay. Now still we couldn't do our tricky thing because the derivative of this is not here anyway. So it wouldn't work. Right? But we can multiply out again. 1 plus, multiplying x through there, we'll get 1x minus 10x squared plus 25x cubed. And now all of this is just simple integration. Nothing fancy. Integrate it all. This is going to be x. This is going to be x squared over 2. This is going to be x cubed divided by 3. This is going to be x to the 4, so it's going to be 25x to the 4 over 4, and plus c. Now you might say, oh, but shouldn't we write the highest power first? Well, yes, technically, it's a good habit, highest power first. I wouldn't bother with this, simply because I've shown you the integration skill. I'm not really too worried about this. But if your teacher gets a little worried about the order of things, then sure, rewrite it. I think it's a wasted one anyway. Okay, next one, here we go. So square root, square root is the half power, but it's on the bottom line. So why don't I bring that guy up here and write him like this, six brackets, one plus two x to the negative a half. It's looking easier already. Now what I'm gonna do is raise the power by one. Remember, number line, number line. Negative a half is just on that side. I skip over zero and I'm into positive a half. So raising the power by 1 is actually going to make that into a positive a half. Divide by the new power. If I'm dividing by a half, that's the same as multiplying by 2. And divide by the derivative, well that's 2 anyway. So therefore that 2 and that 2 are going to cancel. Don't forget about your plus C here at the end. 
So now really it's just this guy and that. So I could actually write that as uh, 6 square root of 1 plus 2x plus c. Ah, these are getting easy, aren't they? All right, now we're a little bit different. We've got the derivative. This is the same as all of these questions that I started with. They are all uh, something I wanted to integrate. So if I start with the derivative and I integrate, then I get back to the original function. dA dP is the derivative of A with respect to P. So if I integrate this whole thing, then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to end up with just A. Okay? So see it this way. See it this way. If I'm going to integrate this thing, right? Effectively, I'm going to do this: integrate integral dA dt or dA dp with respect to dp. So this is the original thing that I'm working with here. Okay? I'm integrating with respect to p. So you can kind of see it like these cancel out, and all I'm left with is just the a part there. That's what it really looks like, all right? So now what I need to do is I need to look at that and I've got to say, well, doing this gets me back to just A. But what I now need to look at is integrating this. So I'll now write integral of 6P plus 1 squared dP. Notice how on the left-hand side, this was on the left-hand side, I added the integral with respect to p, and that got me back to just a. So on the right hand side, I've got to do the same. I'm kind of doing this, integral dp, integral dp. I'm kind of doing the same to both sides, multiplying by two, dividing by two, uh, adding five, taking five. So I'm doing the same to both sides. So now this is really just what each one of these were. They were just saying integrate, okay? So now integrating that one, what I'm going to do there is I'm going to raise the power by 1 to a power of 3. I'm going to squeeze them in here. So raise the power, uh, what have we got, p plus 1, raise the power, divide by the new power and by the derivative of the inside. Well, that was just 1 anyway. So we're at this plus c. Now then you can see this is going to cancel a little bit. So I'll end up with that. The plus C part. Now notice how I threw this in here. We've got a bit of information about the original equation. So that really, this here, I'm getting a bit messy here, but this really is A equals, because that's the thing I was trying to find. So now I could put this in. Can you see how I can A is 21 equals, tidy this up, this is going to be P was 1. 1 plus 1 cubed over 3 plus c. Now I can solve for c. This is 2 cubed. 2 cubed is 8. The 3 and the 8 here. What am I going to do? I'm going to end up with c equals. Follow this yourself. The, the 8 is going to come down to the bottom line. And the 3 is going to come up to the top line. 3 times 21 is 63. So C is going to be 63 over 8. We can simplify that a bit. 64 would be 8 exactly. So this is actually going to be 7 and 7 eighths. Hopefully you can see that. And then, uh, very messy here. I could write the whole thing as this. A equals two brackets. Oh, gee, I think I missed the two, didn't I? I did miss the two. I missed the two here. Let me piece that in. There should have been a two there. Uh, oh, what have I done here? No, no, no. Yes, yes, there should have been a 2. Oh, oh, I've mucked everything up here. Okay, let's go again. Let's go again. Let's go again. Here we go. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Right. Uh, the 2's there. The three's not. So I'm like that, and I'm like that. Right, this is better. This is looking better now. So here I've got uh, 2 cubed is 8 times 2 is 16. Uh, take that over the other side. C is going to equal 21 minus 16. Oh, that's a bit neater. Equals 5. Therefore, I can write the whole thing. A equals 2 brackets. P plus 1 cubed plus C. And that is my complete final equation 
for this question. Oh, I made a bit of a mistake there, but hopefully you can follow that. Rewind, cut out that bit that I made a mistake in. I don't do any post-production here. Next one, number 11, similar style. I'll try and not make a mistake here. Here we go. We've got dy dx equals this. So if I integrate this side with respect to x, and I integrate this side with respect to x, this is a little easier. Well, not so much, same as, same as this, but a little easier than these. Raise the power by 1. Okay? 2x minus 3 in there. 24 is out the front. Divide by the new power and divide by the derivative of the inside plus c. So if we cancel that down, you can see there's going to be uh, 8 on the bottom line. 8 goes into that 3 times. So that's going to be a bit neater, isn't it? It's going to be 3 lots of 2x minus 3 to the power of 4 plus c. Notice I've got this information here. Now this makes it easy because when x is equal to 0, that's just going to be minus 3 to the power of 4, isn't it? So I might get rid of this. I'll come back and do them later if we need to. They were just extras. So let's put this in. So wouldn't we have here, we would have y equals. So y is 5 equals 3 brackets. 2 lots of 0 is just 0 minus 3 to the power of 4 plus c. Now, minus 3 to an even power is going to get me a positive answer. So that there, 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 9, 81. That's going to be 81. 81 plus, oh, sorry, 81 times 3, 243. So then move the 243 over, we're going to have c equals 5 minus 243, or negative uh, 238. So writing the full equation, we'd have y equals uh, 3 brackets, 2x minus 3 to the power of 4 minus 238. Hopefully I've got that number right, I think I do. It doesn't really matter if I have, oh, sorry, if I haven't got it right, because the process is there. Don't get confused about big numbers here. Remember, with power of four, uh, numbers get pretty big pretty quick, so that's not surprising. Look, a couple of different examples here. I'm gonna do a bit more work on this kind of idea of integrating. I haven't done much work on that, so I will do a video on this idea of integrating using this S, which is kind of a, oh, it's a stretched S. It's the integral symbol. You'll see this on your calculator as well. Uh, so I'll do a video around this kind of idea more, so I kind of brush through it a little bit here. Hope this one's helped. If you want me to do specific questions, uh, email me chris.simpson at cua.edu.au. More than happy to do a video on any questions that you want. If I can help out in any way, please do. Thanks, guys. Catch you later.